Hey, this is Christina with leadsandleverage.com. Today I actually have a question um, asked by a real estate agent. They wanted to know which, what or which content is the most boost worthy. Boost worthy, I'm holding the question here. Um, and that's a kind of a loaded question, but there's, there's a couple things to uh, keep in mind. First of all, um, aside from the fact that you shouldn't be using the boost post button, you should actually be doing this in ads and using that, you know, writing your post, putting it out and then boosting it through power editors, what you should be doing. Um, aside from that, the content that is the most boost worthy is content that has a few elements in it. First of all, number one, that it either it has a focus like drives traffic to your website and you want people to go and read something that you have on there. It drives traffic to uh, a lead capture so it has a good strong call to action. Um, or it, really it's only those two things. And you have to make sure that the posts that you boost are posts that you own the content. If you boost, you know, say you put out, uh, you go to NAR uh, or realtor.org or whatever, and you share an article, you didn't write that article. And even if you did write that article, you're still driving, if you pay to boost that, you're driving traffic to another website, to another source. You wanna drive traffic to your website so that you can retarget that traffic and reach that traffic again, or you wanna drive traffic into a lead capture where they give you their information in exchange. So those are the two, posts that you should be quote unquote boosting um, as long as it drives traffic for ways for you to retarget or reuse that traffic in some way so hopefully that was as clear as mud for you i, I really hope it was clearer than it sounded but that's what you, that's the kind of post you want to use you want to own the post you want to, meaning you want to own the content that the post has and you want it to be going to something that you own your website or your database one of those two areas Again, this is Christina with leadsandleverage.com. If you have questions, bring them over to the Facebook for Real Estate Agents group, and I'll see you there.